Right, hey guys, how are we doing? Back with another video from Total and Out Mark, and today we've got an interesting one. I tried reading all of One Piece in 24 hours. Now, I don't see that being possible, but it will be interesting to see how far Mark actually managed to get within the story of One Piece. Because I, I find it funny when people go, right, I'm going to try it, and they skim read and don't actually pay attention to certain bits. And they're like, I've, I've done that sometimes. Like, I'll get through this. And then I end up like watching something and go, oh, and then going back and reading it again because I've just kind of like skim read it. But yeah, let's see what this video is about, see how far Mark potentially gets. This is me. And today I had a really great bad idea. Yeah. The kind of bad idea that pushed me to my breaking point. Then Blackbeard said. One that almost <laughs> made me give up. Jesus, like at this point, I don't even know if this is worth uploading anymore. <laughs> oh, that black man sad. <laughs> okay, how do we get here exactly? Well, it's kind of a long story. It has often been said that One Piece is a long but fantastic story. However, for reasons that elude me, a lot of folks to this day seem to ignore the quality in favor of focusing on just how damn long it is. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At over 1,100 chapters in length, you'll often hear comments like, One Piece is way too damn long. I'm not reading all that. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I am here to prove once and for all that One Piece doesn't actually take that long to read. It really, it, it doesn't actually, once you get into the flow of it, you just keep reading it, man. I mean, I've taken a break now because I prefer reading them in the in the manga volumes as they come out. So I do believe I've purchased volume 106, which is going to be stuff that I've not read. So I'm excited to be getting back into this, like, catching up every now and then kind of journey. And how will I achieve this, you might be asking? By dedicating 24 contiguous, uninterrupted hours of my own life to reading as much One Piece wow. as my little eyeballs can muster. And through doing so, prove that not only could one read this story in a reasonable amount of time, but also to demonstrate exactly why millions claim this story to be as great as you all heard it is. Mm. Four years ago, this story took me five months to complete, which made me realize I'm slow. However, unlike four <laughs> years ago, there will be no such note taking, no writing for a YouTube video, no recording. There's the difference, isn't it? Because I remember when I was trying to react to Mark's reviews, I was like just trying to get up to that certain point and then break, do that. Then, but yeah, if you're doing this by yourself, it's like I'm enjoying reading, um, catching up with Zom 100 again and catching up with Kaiju and Brayton that for non-video purposes like it's what I find it's, it's 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 weird like this having this whole YouTube thing and like disconnecting sometimes the actual enjoyment and just trying to like take it in for other purposes no mm. cooking no bathing or even fathering for that matter oh my god I'm gonna be taking the training <laughs> weights off and using my full power on this one all I need to do is gather the necessary materials for this marathon some nutrition for the journey ahead and of course most importantly isolate myself from the rest from of the world everything the oh one piece god. 24 hour challenge starts now Mate. The moment I hit record, I was zooming. Even with this insane challenge looming over me, I found myself making terrific progress. And it didn't take long for this incredible story to hit me in my emotions the way it always does. Oh. <laughs> I think more than anything I could possibly say in this video, this clip shows you how resonant One Piece is for so many people. Wait, like, it's so emotional in places. It's like, damn, that dog, man. And then I think the one bit that really got me, really hit me hard, was Marine Ford. I just absolutely bawled my eyes out when I was reading that with Ace. It is so deceptively well written, but with that emotional road bump out of the oh, way, I continue to zoom on through these chapters. And while this was a strong start, I had barely begun. With one hand, I shoved delicious rice cakes into my mouth, and with the other, I bolted through the rest of Orange Town. I moonwalked into and out of Syrup Village, and following that, I dined exquisitely on the arc that was the Baradier. By this point, it had been roughly five hours, and honestly, it was pretty breezy. I could do this in my sleep, I was thinking. There, hmm. however, was one small issue. The food wasn't exactly agreeing with me. Oh, no. Okay, so because I'm feeling physically ill from eating all this bullshit, <laughs> I'm going to have a bowl of cereal in the hopes that it will cure me. Because right now, <laughs> no. my stomach is a hornet's nest. It's like a basket of spiders trying to escape out my face. And oh, I just no. prefer not to have to endure that struggle. Yeah, toilet trips and all that stuff. Oh, no. While I'm also struggling reading this. But, you know, I'm making good progress. 
this was the point where my read-through <laughs> transformed from a fun, breezy activity to a real bona fide challenge. Typically, in my day-to-day -day life, I read about four to five hours of manga. So thus far, okay. the read-through hadn't really been that unusual outside of this self-imposed isolation and dietary restriction. Activity, okay. But as this stretched on into the sixth, the seventh, and eventually the eighth hour, my patience and my attention span really started to wane. Mm. In my defense and one pieces, doing eight hours of anything is pretty boring. I could have been playing board games for eight hours, listening to music, or even watching the anime of this very series. The fact of the matter was, doing time. anything for this long becomes tedious. And tragically, however, while I was reading Whiskey Peak, I did not anticipate this fact, and so took matters into my own hands to combat this growing sense of boredom. And how did I achieve this, you might be asking? Simply by performing a theatrical critique of my least favorite scene in this entire oh, series. yes. Zoro, what are you doing? I was just protecting you guys from- you were- you were all sleeping, so I just- you know, they were trying to kill you, so I- I stopped them. But that guy over there said that you killed all those people for no reason. I'm trying to your face right now! These people aren't to be trusted. They try to kill us. Yeah, but they gave me food, so... Dude, are you telling me that you can look down right in the face fight. and say, Oh, you're lying, but I'm telling you to your face right now. I was I was the first person in your crew. Sorry, man, I don't make the rules. You're the captain. You're so, I chose you to be my captain because you can literally look at people and understand who they are just by looking at them. Look at me. Am I really the evil person in this situation? Oh my look god, Jesus. Yeah, but they gave me food, so... <laughs> Dude, you're a fucking idiot. With my impressive thespian muscles thoroughly flexed now, and that small Love break it. in my sanity well and truly out of my system for good, I continued marching chapter after chapter as the hours crawled by, page after- It was a weird moment, wasn't it, though, when they started fighting. It's like, where has this come from? And even in Mark's review, it's like, it just seemed so bizarre, and yeah. After page, volume after volume, I trampled through Whiskey Peak. I escaped Little Garden and well and truly arrived on the shores of Drum Island. Right. I was on pace. I had the skills. I had the will. I just also happened to feel like ass. As daytime turned into evening and evening turned into night, They're my like, once confident facade began stopped. to give way to the mortal hiding underneath. All right, guys, so here's the rundown. I am... Yeah, just over 13 hours into this read-through. So, over halfway. I am dealing with an enormous fucking headache. Um, very tired, obviously. Um, just finishing volume 16, which is just at the very end of the Dr. Hiri Luke chopper flashback thing. Okay. I am... I found the first... 12 hours tough you know dealing with boredom mm. um, and only in like the last maybe four hours I started feeling like kind of sick and just tired and my body wants to do literally anything else other than fucking read, read. again <laughs> now I understand 24 hours seems like a hell of a long time to be doing one single thing and it is but I assure you you can't fully appreciate just how slowly that clock ticks until you've spent 13 agonizing hours gaslighting yourself into believing that Alabasta will be worth all of this extra effort <laughs> to reach, only to discover upon arriving on said shores, you would rather eat 20 of those disgusting rice, rice cakes, cakes than stomach a single word more of this story. The thought of even approaching another arc makes you feel violently ill, maybe even more ill than Nami felt on the shores of Drum Island. Oh, God. <laughs> Reference! <laughs> Please, God, don't ever take me back there. Where are we now? I might not look it, but 13 hours and almost 14 hours in, I'm finally, finally almost done Drum Island. Right. I have never been so excited for Alabasta in my entire life. <laughs> hey, Alabasta's great, though. I was crushed, however, knowing that I have 10 hours more of this. Come on, Mark. I believe in you. I believe in you. Welcome, one and all, to the true beginning of Mark's descent into insanity and despair. I wish I was joking. By this point, the sun was truly a distant memory. My wife and child were already fast asleep in their beds for the night, and here I was, sitting alone. Right here, where I had been for well over 14 happy, happy, glorious, totally worth it hours reading <laughs> One Piece. All for this challenge, for science, for all of you.
Honestly, this deep into a process like this, the panels in front of my face were starting to look like ink blotch monsters more than beautiful manga panels. And just when I needed some good news, something to turn the tide back in my favor again, this challenge took something from me I never thought would be possible. Huh. It made One Piece not fun. No. Even in an experiment as baffling as this one, up until now, I would still carry on anticipating and looking forward to some of my favorite moments and character beats. But something was becoming apparent here. I was arriving at key emotional moments in this story, like Nami asking for help I'm in Arlong not feeling Park, or it the crew same. saying goodbye to Vivi in Alabasta. And instead of feeling something like I had at the beginning of this journey with Chow Chow, I felt nothing. And all that remained was the drive to make it to the end of this Just challenge. Just keep going, yeah. So we are at... 15 hours, 15 and half a half as well. So we're just basically gearing up for the first fight between Crocodile uh, and Luffy. Um, it used to be height <laughs> at this point, but. And it looks like I've made a decent chunk Damn, of progress. Damn, that's a dent. That's a dent. But when I look over here. Oh, here so much of it still to go. I still haven't finished the first pile. And I have all that. Undone. I have a treat to see okay, where, how far so he gets. things aren't exactly going according to plan anymore. But I've had to rely on my grit and determination before, and I was more than willing to soldier on in the face of this ever-worsening circumstance. Plus, this extremely weird method of marathon reading the story of One Piece yielded some chuckles for me also. I was sitting there, desperately trying to stay awake and make sense of what I was looking at, and out of nowhere, some character, I, I think it was Django or maybe Full Body, sees Luffy and co. for the first time since the Baradier, and dead ass, he says... It seems like 100 years since I saw him last. So, how long had it actually been? 14 hours. It had been 14 <laughs> damn hours, and the characters were saying it felt like it had been a century. I had never felt a disconnect like that between a manga and myself. Needless to say, it was clear at this point that this story was never intended to be consumed like this. At this point, we were well and I truly... love that he's literally able to say exactly how long in real time reading it is that he's seen each other. That's so funny. Into the advanced darkness portion of the night, the stars were out, the moon no doubt eclipsed by some clouds overhead, and I was two full work days worth of hours into this exercise of insanity. Sure, I had lost touch with my very soul, and One Piece was becoming an abstract concept to me by now, but would you believe, a brand new problem was on the horizon. No way. That issue was... I was so goddamn tired. Okay, so small. Is that where the running the on the treadmill comes um, in? Then? I'm really fighting the urge to fall asleep. I um, finished the alabaster arc, and I'm. I think I, I must be on the the sequence between alabaster and Jaya. Assuming I'm not forgetting something, which I very well might be, because I'm not in my right mind right now. Um. I am very tired. And look, I know what you're going to say, but despite my youthful looks and clearly joyous demeanor, I'm not really the stay up all night having fun kind of guy. Right, thing is as well, I have done something like this. Years ago, I did a charity event called the 36 hour 1 million tap challenge. There was a game on the Xbox 360 called 1 million tap. And it would time how long it would take you to press the A button on the controller to get to a million. Uh, we'd done like a 12 hour one at one point, we did a 24 hour one, didn't work. We did the maths, you could do it within 36. So me and my friends Dan and Steve, we both stayed up for 36 hours straight with multiple people joining in at other times while we were live streaming that to come in and help. We had a half an hour sleep within 36 hours. <laughs> it's a very tiring experience trying to stay up and do something like it. It's, it's, it's mentally draining. Like at all. But we raised money for charity. I'm the voluntarily wake up at 6 a.m. to tend to my garden type of boomer, and I'm not even very good at that. So staying up past midnight, much less for 24 straight hours working, was a physical challenge just as much as it was a mental one. It was clear at this point that if I wanted to turn the tides in my favor again, I'd need to take a more God, proactive we're nearly reaching approach, 20 take matters hour, into my own hands, if you will. If my body actually thinks it can dictate to me when and where I fall asleep, it's dumber than it looks. Little did my weary bones know that tucked away in the far reaches of my home, there awaited my genius solution. <laughs> People's dreams never ever end! <laughs> okay, so as you might have expected, that bit of adrenaline didn't last very long. In fact, uh, it sort of wasted what little energy I had left no. and left me at a net negative once I hopped off. 
And so, sitting in my room, forcing myself to turn pages while having an absolutely miserable time, staving off sleep and fighting my own inner demons, I still recorded myself reading this story as best I could. I tried everything to keep myself awake, from push-ups to pacing back and forth like a madman trapped in the padded cell he put himself into. Feeling really, truly unwell and barely able to keep my eyes open, I must confess that my memory of the Jaya through to Skypia portion of the story feels like a hazy dream. Low resolution, fuzzy pockets oh, of it remained, no. but the only elements tying these brief bursts of clarity together were my real memories from reading it the first time all those years ago. Needless to say, I had stopped having fun hours ago. I had lost all sight of what this video could even be. And sitting on the floor, dejected, there was a point somewhere during early Skypia between the hours of 20 and 22, where I was ready to just give up entirely. No, I was so You've miserable so and dissatisfied <laughs> with the meager amount of material I had managed to get through. Oh. I really wanted this video to be something that could encourage folks to pick up One Piece like my reviews did back in 2020. But here I was, 22 hours in, and I hadn't gotten through even a quarter of this story. This video was a total failure. To me, One Piece is a once in a generation type of tale. A story that while reading, I never once found it to be overly long to the point of it being an issue. So my thought process was a video like this would expose rather easily that this story isn't the scary boogeyman people have claimed it to be. I intended on getting through a huge chunk of the narrative and through doing so show everyone that it's both simple to read and more than anything else, fun, resonant, and special. But not only was I now not making the progress I wanted to, but I was fading fast and very literally no longer getting any sense of enjoyment from reading this story anymore. Of course, this wasn't the way this story was meant to be read, but the sheer volume of story that surrounded me unread stood as a monument to this project's failure. How could I ever hope to convince even a single person to pick up this series when all I had managed to achieve over the last 20 or so hours was make me question whether or not I even liked this story? No. Hey, it's smile. We got a smile. Where? God. <laughs> During the summer of 2020, I read One Piece for my YouTube channel. In the thick of quarantine, I was struggling with the isolation that came packaged with that whole situation. Mm. One Piece offered me an outlet. But more than that, it gave me a community of people to interact with when I needed it the most. And yet today, trying to prove a point, I subjected myself to near prison conditions, willingly, made myself sick, mistakenly, and through that managed to strip away all the joy I ever experienced while reading this incredible story. And yet, despite that insanity, <laughs> this story still managed to nudge me in the right direction. In 2020, I began a series of videos reviewing the entire story of One Piece. With the hook of that series being that of a newcomer earnestly making his way across this enormous journey. So make no mistake, this story is extremely yeah, long. Fantastic. Even 2020 Mark can admit that. But here's the thing. Whether or not a story is long truly doesn't matter. You could, in theory, take my approach and complete this series inside a single week, but through doing so, you would grow to hate yourself and the story in equal measure. What makes One Piece special is that it is a journey, hmm. a long one, but one that is intended to be enjoyed and not sprinted through. If what's holding you back from watching One Piece is its length, then I believe you're thinking about it the wrong way, perhaps. I mean, either this is a story you're going to love, or it's not. If you give it a shot and decide that it's not for you, then by all means, drop it. I mean, you're not contractually obligated you to keep watching or reading to, anything yeah, I mean. you're not gelling with. But if you do like it, if something about the enriching world of One Piece resonates with you like it has so many millions of people, then congratulations. Because you now have in your repertoire a modern epic. A story which entirely deserves to trade blows in conversations with the likes of the all-time greats. From my point of view, I cannot tell you how badly I'd wish I had more Dragon Ball to watch, or another Season 4 Part 5 Subsection 2 of yeah, Attack on Titan to sink my teeth into. One Piece's greatest quality, after how well it's written, is how much of that incredible story there is for you to enjoy. So please, don't see it as an obstacle designed to get past, see it instead for the once in a generation type of gift that it can be. Because, at the end of the day, it's not about the destination that counts. It's the adventure. The yeah. 
265 chapters of One Piece in 24 hours. He will never attempt this challenge again. <laughs> God damn. Is. Uh, I thought I'd seen Vince, isn't it? So Vince on Mark's uh, patrons is one of my patrons as well. Oh, there we go. That was an interesting video. I thought that was quite cool. Um, he always has a nice little emotional kind of like ending to his videos, and I really appreciate that. I was originally going to do the My Hero Academia review uh, reviews again, and I will do. They're just I. I'm trying to do other things. I noticed they're an hour long and seeing that I thought it'd be interesting. So I am going to be checking out the My Hero Academia reviews. They're still number two, number th season two, season three at the moment, I think. And he's done a video about uh, animation as well, which I'll probably check out at uh, some point. But yeah, that was that was very, very funny at points as well. I liked him recreating the Zoro versus Luffy scene. <laughs> yeah, they gave me food, so, you know. <laughs> but anyway, thank you. Oh. Thank you to my patrons. If you want to have your name at the end of every video or want to be able to watch patron only reactions such as the original Dragon Ball series, I'll link in the description to the Patreon page. One dollar a month is all I ask to help support channel. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for that. Thank you all for watching. When you guys think of that, when you guys think of this, click like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch and discuss in future videos. And I'll see you guys all you guys next time.